Today, we're going to dive into a little injector scaling for Matt's 2010 Camaro. Stick around. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the garage. And one of our patrons asked, uh, asked about installing some 1300cc injectors into his Camaro. And of course, he's running into the injector flow limit on the E38. Uh, let's just dive right into it because this is something that I get questions about all the time. And if we go in here and look at our general tab, flow rate versus pressure, you'll notice we've got a 127 pound limit. And this is where we get into injector scaling. This is something that can be complicated, but it doesn't have to be. Now, the way that you always hear about people is doing the stoic AFR. This is the easiest way of doing it. And what we like to do is just come in and literally double this if we can. We wanna keep the math very simple. Come in here and double it. I accidentally hit the button too many times. There we go. Uh, 29.35 and then we're all the way out to 17.95 for flex fuel question is yep this is a flex fuel vehicle so it has the sensor so we got to make sure and do that what effectively we have done is we've commanded the ecu to uh take the math for fuel calculation and double it so normally it would be saying hey we're trying to hit 14.7 now we're trying to hit 29.3 and so it's doubling the fuel rate remember that the ecu is not actually targeting these fuel values these afr values it's a little bit uh misleading to think that it's like trying to say that we're trying to hit 14.7 it's using that as a uh constant in a math formula that looks at airflow and then calculates how much fuel based off of your fuel flow tables in order to accomplish this afr and so by doubling that afr we've effectively changed the way that our flow rate table works. And as you can see, he's already input the data in here. I wish I had the data. He didn't include it other than their 1300s. But what you want to do then is take your fuel data that is provided by your injector company. There should be a chart. And a lot of injector companies now will, in the spreadsheet that they include, have a, an ability to uh, do fuel scaling for this data in there. In, and so it'll put in there if you're scaling it by two. Effectively, it's having this data. And so what we do is we would come in here, put our new data in, but only at half. And so if these were maxing out at 127, you know, we would actually have something that looks more like this, which is well below our 127 foot pound, our pound per hour flow rate of injectors. And so we've kind of made the math come back together because once again, this is another constant in the uh, fuel flow calculation. AFR, our stoic table being one, then your injector flow rate being another, then your variable is going to be your air calculations, your air mass from your mass airflow, your dynamic air mass from volumetric efficiency and mass airflow being blended together uh, and things like that. And so those numbers are changing from air mass and then it goes in through the calculation and says, okay, we want to hit now 29.7 AFR and we're flowing fuel as say our pressure delta is at 48, 408 kPa, we're flowing fuel at 63.5 when in truth those injectors are flowing at 127. So it's it all works out in the end as long as we step up one and take the other down by the same percentage. Now, if we still couldn't hit this, you're going to be running into an issue. So 1300s, 1500s in particular, probably going to start maxing those out because we can only go so high by doubling the stoic AFR. And then we can look into things like doing the flow rate multiplier by volts. Some ECUs, this does not work on, uh, but this is a straight multiplier where uh, it's just multiplying by one. It, we can try and double it here. Doesn't work on all situations. I would advise sticking to the stoic AFR and the flow rate versus pressure. Keep in mind when you do this, this changes some of the calculations. In particular, it's going to change your air mass calculations. Uh, and so these tables, such as your spark, are going to get skewed. You're not going to be hitting the same numbers where we might normally come in here and see a uh, air mass curve as we go wide open throttle through this area is going to shift that around. So keep an eye on your new calculated air mass whenever you 
pull a log and move this table up and down as appropriate. We may have been hitting uh, 1.16 beforehand in wide open throttle. We may now be hitting, you know, say 0.84. And the difference between that is we were running 15 degrees of timing. Now we're running 20 degrees of timing on the top end. That's where people get into issues whenever they scale their injectors and i see that a lot where they haven't gone in and corrected the spark tables to make sure that where their wide open throttle air mass was hasn't been adjusted down and literally if you have to adjust it down you can come in here grab your row copy this in and say now our new wide open throttles around 0.8 we can paste that in and in fact it might even be a good idea to paste it a little bit below there do that we'll come down here interpolate this flat out and then we can kind of do the same here give ourselves a little bit of buffer and interpolate that way and now we've got an area that looks more like how the original timing map worked out you want to double check if you come up into the editor and go into the navigator type in air mass it'll show you everywhere that you have an air mass table in here that you might need to make adjustments. So the high octane table, the low octane table, the DOD tables, uh, knock sensor transient, that one shouldn't be an issue. And then the torque coefficient. So we need to look at the torque models. It's not an issue on this one because it's a fourth generation one. The torque uh, models don't work the same. Uh, so we shouldn't really have any problems there. But keep that in mind that whenever you're changing or scaling your injectors like that, that you are affecting your air mass. Pretty straightforward stuff out there. I've touched on it a lot of times, but I thought a quick video to help remind people on how to do injector scaling might help out there. If you've got any questions, hit up the comments down below. Don't forget to check out GoatRopeGarage.com. That's how you get to our Patreon site. If you want to get tuning assistance, I'm going to get back to work. You guys know the drill. ABT, always be tuning.